Well, here we go, everyone. More footage from the archives. We'll start with a bit of random pig shooting footage from, yeah, probably 25 years ago. This is out on the coastal plains in central Queensland. Uh, terrific country to hunt, but quite difficult because there's long runners of, of sort of marsh and wet ground, and you've got to try and get the pigs in between these. A lot of people don't realise I've been taking out guided hunting trips for over 35 years now. And part of what we do is get in there and assist landowners to control pig numbers in these high production cattle country areas. Good one. What? Load up again. There's plenty of them around here. What do you reckon, Mr. Walker? Better than that Gippsland? Oh well, we don't have this sort of shooting in Gippsland. This is top-rate hunting. Couldn't do better. Okay, this is my first boar, as the Americans say, hog, and he was shot on a beautiful day, uh, mid August, uh, out in typical pig country with plenty of cover and I was fortunate enough to shoot him on the run and got him with one shot, as you can see, right through the, the side. And uh, I think it's pretty special to be able to go out hunting here. Watch him, Tyg. We just got this pig a minute ago, and we see a good lump of a ball, but unfortunately, broken tusks. Oh well, Clark told me he'll get me a big ball with big tusks. Let's see if he's up to the challenge. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Now after the fall of the deer farming industry, some landowners released herds of rusa deer, of Javan rusa deer, into these cattle producing areas. And uh, after about five years, on one of these properties, we actually started to take the first few stags uh, as trophies. One stag in particular though, was seen for a couple of years and he grew and carried this very unusual head. We didn't want him breeding with the herd, so the aim this day was to try and take one specific stag. As these animals were right out on these big floodplains, we had to cross across about two kilometres of ground right out in the open with deer looking at us from all directions. Now one technique that had been passed down to me from the Aboriginal people in the uh, edge of Arnhem Land where I grew up was to use a a uh, cut um, bundle of, of brush in front of you and actually just then move slowly right across the plain towards these animals. Again, that technique worked. I came up here to shoot a nice rooster stag with Clark <laughs> and um, he got me this one. It's actually what I was looking for. I was looking for a good mongrel head. Um, yeah. This stag's always been uh, misshapen. He's usually had forks on his tops and basal snags but always short and twisted. This year he's dropped the fork off one side but he's retained his basal snags. Certainly something different. Certainly is. 
Big stag, might be as big as a red stag, I thought. From the coastal floodplains, we, we drove a few hours further north to where there was a series of big swampy areas on some of the cattle properties there. Massive amount of pigs, but that's what our hunters wanted us to provide, great pig shooting. Nice medium sized boar, shot from under a thorn bush in a swamp at 50 metres. What a stalk! Right through the heart. Not bad, huh? Dainty little fella, but as we said, a pig's a pig. Give me another one. Hit him again! Good, well done mate. Big one over the back. See if you can get a crack at the other two. See going up the other side, quick. There. Good shot. Is that close enough? No. Honest 300 metres according to Clark. Clark's at 180. <laughs> I must say some of the most enjoyable hunts Good boy, I've ever done have been with an old mate of mine, bueno, Jose. Este es que hemos matado hoy, vimos 10, casi me da un ataque al corazón, porque hemos tenido que correr. Eh, pesará unos 120 kilos, y es un hijo de puta, pero el primer tiro a 135 metros ha sido perfecto y cayó en el mismo lugar. This time, Jose brought a few of his friends from Spain over to do some pig shooting. Squeeze him. Big pig. Look at that device. Look at that. Fucking, this is a half. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. Tough pig. They're good guys. How many we got, eh? Yeah. Can you take a photo of that? Yeah. It's much smaller than the other one. Putting a sign on the trick, I cut. We went from there and we chased bulls, we chased rooster deer, and uh, yeah, just one of those guys that you love spending time with in the bush. Señor Clark, Señor Clark, eso está lo mejor. One dozen of good, one dozen of big a good guy. Today. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, javelin, two javelines. Oh, fantastic. One big bull. That's, that's the way to do it, man. Salute. Good future for you and all your new future clients. Stop. This is the stuff you can get and kill the, the this bull. Is, this is the Rusa because uh, Face up. I, ever, I ever saw even I've been in Tucanadonia because the thinness 
I have never seen anything like that, Clark. I mean, congratulations for Agustin and for you, because this is unbelievable. And, and this was one of the first as a, as really good rooster stags that was taken out of North Queensland. Three points. And this is a, the, normally the rooster only got three points, and he's got so many. When we saw this, it, we could see what was release. possible if wild rooster were Thank managed properly Clark. in this country. We have the potential like here for world-class you know, animals. And after all the hunting was done, these guys certainly knew how to party. More great. More great memories from the archives. If you're interested, Keep following us on Thursdays and we'll see what else we can find. Thanks for watching.